everyone. Welcome to I Can Has Draw. In this tutorial, I am going to respond to one of the requests that I've received to draw a cute witch. Begin by drawing a circle in the middle or just upper middle portion of your page. This is going to be the witch's head. And because her head is going to be at an angle, it's important that the lines used to intersect the front of the face are going to be curved and kind of uh, to the side. Next, I'm going to draw the body. And here you can see I'm just drawing a kind of pear shaped. This is going to be like a chibi character. So the proportion is going to be a very small, cute, simple body uh, with a large head. And here I'm drawing the legs. I'm using little circles to mark the hip joints and knee joints, uh, just so I'll know where everything in the figure is supposed to be. Helps me with my proportions. And here I've got her little left leg up and uh, just her foot with her toe pointing down behind her. Next I'm drawing the shoulders and because she's going to have really puffy sleeves I'm just doing really large circles for her shoulder joints but I did include her elbow joints in between her hand and her shoulder. Again this helps uh, to make sure everything is proportioned correctly. In her right hand, I'm giving her her little broom. Right now, I'm just drawing a stick and a little shape here. Looks like a bell, just so I'll know where everything goes, and I'll be detailing that later. Next, I'm going to draw the witch's hat. It kind of looks like an upside down ice cream cone on top of her head, or a party hat, if you will. And then I'm going to draw the brim of the witch hat around her. It's just going to look like an ellipse or an oval shape. And there's the brim of the witch hat. Now it's time to start some details, so I'm going to add some hair. And because this is a chibi, uh, the hair is going to be really big and poofy. Kind of crazy looking, but very interesting. And I'm going to give her hair ends a little flip there at the end. You know how they flip kind of like the 60's fashion. Next I'm just drawing a little half triangle nose and a little curved mouth. And uh, because her bangs are covering half of her face, I'm just drawing one eye. That's all that's needed. And because I don't like where the nose is, it's bumping into her eye, I'm, I'm moving the nose down a little bit. Give more room for that eye on her face. I know that's kind of cheating, but I draw really rapidly and on the fly, so I figure my proportions out as I go along. It's almost like sculpting for me. Um, so if you want to take more time getting all that in place, that's fine. Go at your own pace. Hair looks good. Face looks good. So I'm going to start working on the rest of the body. Not much to work with on the shoulders since she's going to have poofy sleeves, so I'm going to extend the arms there, create the arms. And her hands and her fingers are going to be very simple. I'm just going to give her uh, kind of chubby fingers. And I'm not even going to give her five, I'm just giving her four fingers. Because cartoon fingers, usually they're simplified. They have less fingers than normal. And same for the other side. And I'm not even going to draw her fingers. I'm just drawing a little mitt. Looks like she's wearing a mitten. Uh, that's simpler, less complicated. And uh, since I'm already over here, I'm going to fill in the broom handle. So it looks like she's actually grasping something. And I'm going to make the straws on her broom kind of resemble her hair. It's got that same flip there on the ends. Shows a little bit of action. I'm going to give her a little belt. And... Uh, cute little opening there with a little cross tie, a little string there in the front of her blouse. And then I'm just going to give kind of a short dress. Um, maybe if you've seen the Halloween costumes at the store lately, a lot of the dresses are really, really short. Um, but they kind of act like long shirts too, and uh, the girls can just wear little leggings underneath them. Which is, I think that's pretty adorable. And here are her shoes. I'm just uh, 
giving her little boot there and a stripe on her leggings. Um, I'm keeping her feet really simple. I'm not going for realism here. It's a cartoon. So I've really simplified her feet. And there's the rest of the leggings. And I'm now just going around touching up here and there. Um, oh, I do have one final thing, and that's going to be the band on the witch's hat. And as well as some bands across the broom handle. And that way the stockings, the broom handle, and the hat band all match the same pattern. Very fun. Okay, everything looks good here. So I'm going to start drawing over everything with my Sharpie marker. Whoops. <laughs> yes, I keep my nail polish on my desk. Ha ha ha. I hope y'all would figure that out by now, seeing as how I change my nail color every other week. And now I'm just going over the lines. Point and pull. Taking my time for the longer swooping lines. As always, um, I always change stuff uh, right before I finalize it. So I make the hair curvier, I make it poofier, I push things further before I make it final. Adding a little bit of extra dark around her eyes so they'll pop. This was a fun design uh, for me because one, I do enjoy the chibi characters. Uh, they're simple, so it's very relaxing, and there's a pattern. You know, they all have the same large head and little pear shaped bodies. So it's really just a bunch of simple shapes, and then you can elaborate on them with their costumes. Uh, I'm guessing maybe that's why they're so appealing in general. Uh, plus, they look cute. <laughs> But yeah, I had a lot of fun designing this little, little chibi witch. I'm hoping that you guys uh, have fun drawing her too. I uh, hope that she has her challenges, you know, enough to to make it enjoyable, but but not too stressful. it should be fun. I'm going to add a few tension lines here where the broom is bound, a little stringed. we go. So now it's time to pull out the kneaded eraser and get rid of all of those pencil lines because I don't need them anymore. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to color. Oh, yep, I need to get that filled in. Now it's time to color. I'm going to go ahead and use my black marker instead of the Sharpie, um, just because I don't like it when stuff bleeds through the paper. And I don't want to dry out my Sharpie marker either. Plus, there's the bonus of having the aroma of roasted marshmallows. Well, I 
I like color. These are my smelly Crayola markers. This one smells nice and sweet and kind of like cooking s'mores on a at a campfire, which is that was a perfect time of year to do that, isn't it? And the stuff that I'm coloring black are just going to be the stripes, the boots, the belt. Typically witches are depicted in black, but I want to make this happy, cheerful little witch very colorful gal. And black is just going to be an accent. Okay, now that I'm done with the black, next I'm going to use a bright orange. And I'm going to color in pretty much everything uh, that's secondary. Uh, I will have three colors, three primary colors in, in this image, uh, but I want the orange to be kind of secondary because it's going to be scattered throughout her entire costume. And of course, for your color design, you can do whatever you want. You can just do two colors, or you can do just black and white. Um, it's up to you. I like to incorporate as much color as I can because I love color. And particularly for Halloween, I, I like this assortment. It's the same color arrangement as I as the one I used for the striped pumpkin pattern, which if you haven't seen it yet, you should go check it out. And for her hat and dress, uh, they're going to be colored purple. All purple. Purple's nice because it's very dark, um, but it, you know, it's very colorful still, and it's fun. It's less drab. I find that black, unless, uh, you're going to use it purely for, for values. Black can get boring really quick. So unless you know how to use black and white, uh, color can be a little bit easier, more fun. There we go. Dress and hat are done. She's looking really good. Uh, next, because I picked a really light skin tone for my character, I'm going to go ahead and color that first because uh, if I try to color that uh, with too many dark colors around it, it has a tendency to bleed and mess up the marker. Um, Y'all feel free to use whatever skin tones you want for your witch. Any will work, you know, from the darkest dark to the, you know, mid-range browns. Um, whatever you guys are want to do, it'll look good. Uh, I just picked the blue because I like how it complements the the pretty purple there, and how it's going to complement this green. But um, you know, y'all just play around with the different colors, and see what you like. I know, I know, she's got green hair, weird, but it's so cute. Halloween. She's a witch. She can have her hair whatever color she wants. That's all I gotta say about that. Plus it pulls in the colors like that I was telling you about um, in my pumpkin video. It has those three, three main colors. Keeps it interesting. Keeps it fun. And again, her, her broom and her hair match. Yay! So that's how you draw a cute little chibi witch. At least that's one of my versions. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you thought of it. And if you have any other suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. And be sure to share with your friends. Y'all have a happy Halloween!